And joining us now, Holly Signorelli. She is a certified public accountant with over 25 years of experience in the financial marketplace. And Holly, welcome to the Good Day Show. You are talking today about something that has caught my attention in the media over the last few months, something called the pink tax. Explain what exactly is the pink tax? It's basically that for the exact same product, not a product that's fancier, like we'll, we could talk about um, razors, for example, where a Venus razor is made specifically for women's legs. It's more complicated, so it may cost more than like a big razor. But a lot of products, like and especially staples like uh, razors, deodorant, soap, because they're pink and, uh, they, you know, a lot of things are pink. <laughs> hey, and you know what? I'm all tag. about the pink, by the way. <laughs> I know, me too. I'm so embarrassed, but I saw a, a an article the other day, and there was literally a, a it was pink earplugs that I had bought from CVS that were one dollar more than the other. And I know it's only one dollar, but over the lifetime of a woman's life, they spend literally a hundred thousand more on the same items. A hundred thousand? Yes, a wow. hundred thousand. And the price discrepancy is anywhere between 7%, which could just add up to a dollar, to 92%, depending on the type of item. So basically, the pink tax is products that are marketed to women, marketed to girls that might have the pretty colors associated, like the color pink. They're just charging more in the marketplace, even though it's the same item. Now, I like to think my razor is a little different from the men's, but I don't know. I mean, the price really is a huge jump. How are people, how are the producers of these products even thinking they can get away with it? I guess maybe because they always have. Well, exactly, and a lot of the spokespersons for different companies, and I'm not picking on any company because they're all doing it, but like a Target spokesperson said, that's just supply and demand. That's what the market will bear, and that is simply because, you know, women and especially little girls are drawn to the colors, you know, because we're more emotional beings. That's kind of how we're made. So we are, like, for me to buy pink earplugs, why? (laughs) It's just something that we're drawn to. So I I remember, you know, I didn't even think about the extra dollar, and yet they weren't even good earplugs. They were just very generic at CVS. So that's why they're doing it, because think about it. When you go get a razor, if you're getting a Venus razor, there's not a comparison of that on the male uh, razors. But if you're just buying a big razor, you're probably not even looking at the male razors or deodorant. You're thinking, I'm not going to buy male deodorant because I don't want to smell like a man, right? Right. But yet... It could be a dollar or a dollar fifty more, and you have to buy it every month, and it's just accumulating. And so, uh, interestingly, this is all taking place. With, have you heard about the tampon tax? Yeah, so that was oh, what I was going to yes. ask you about. What what is with the tampon tax? Because I don't think it's completely. The story's not straight in my mind yet. Right, right. Um, Basically, and it it seems like this started in California because, you know, their economy is not good. And there was there's been kind of major uprising, like people, you know, you know, storming the streets. But women are saying, hey, this is something that we don't have a choice of. It's like a staple, like like bread or milk, Mm -hmm. and it shouldn't be taxed. And I never thought about this before, but it does make sense for something not to be taxed that only affects one gender. So you're talking sales tax. you're talking I'm sales talking tax, sales not a pink tax. tax. You're talking sales tax. In California, there was a there was a request. There's a, been a lot of pressure by groups of women saying, "Look, this is a necessity. We should not be taxing it. This is not a taxable item." Mm-hmm. And right. you know whether that's right or wrong. I mean, what? How do we how do we go about changing these kind of things? Whether it's behavior by by these corporations that are trying to to upsell women on on the color pink, or whether it's or the as government. women. Now that you're aware of this, will you change your behavior? Yeah. I and never yeah, buy anything the pink. pink tax, the pink tax is, or the pink tax could also apply to anything that's like got a little bit of bling to it. It's just something that makes you more attracted to that color. So that really is an awareness thing because really people haven't been aware of it. Because again, you're, if you're buying deodorant, you're not going to go look at the men's deodorant. And the only thing really people can do right now, in my opinion, is you know use that hashtag pink tax because it's not. All right, so grab the All hashtag right. pink tax and check it out at themoneytherapist.com. Thank you, Holly.